if we were running a program of immunization without any security threats, I think we would have done it two years ago. Militancy and the target killings that have taken the lives of our polio workers, our supervisors and security personnel actually pose a formidable challenge for us because I think that um, is still a possibility, that there could still be a target killing. My name is Gulnaz Shirazi. As a worker kaam shuru kiya tha polio mein. 2011 से और मेरे साथ मेरी फैमिली के और मेंबर्स भी थे जिसमें मेरी बहन थी दो भांजियां थी भाभी थी भाभी की चचाजा कजन थी मेरे साथ ही काम करते थे उस वक्त जहां पे मेरी भांजी लोग काम करते वहां पे फायरिंग की आवाज है जो सामने फिर मेरी नजर पड़ी है तो भाभी की डेड बॉडी जो थी वो भी स्ट्रेचर पे थी और किसी के घर के आगे थी लेकिन उसमें खून बहुत ज्यादा था कि भांजी का तो बिल्कुल पता ही नहीं चल रहा था और उसका तो बहुत ज्यादा तो फिर मैं वहीं पे गिर गई ना women uh, polio workers take a huge risk so would a male polio worker but i think a woman polio worker more so uh, she steps out of her home uh, she goes up and down alleyways she climbs multiple stories in apartment buildings she walks many miles uh, from village to village and so uh, this is taking a woman out of her own home where normally a woman's life is sort of uh, within a certain prescribed circle and asking her to do something which is pretty non-traditional. मेरे नजदीक जो पोलियो कैंपेन को नुकसान पहुंचा वो डॉक्टर शकील आफरीदी को इंटेलिजेंस मकासद के लिए इस्तेमाल किया गया वैक्सीन को आलाय कार बनाया गया बाज नुकसान ऐसे होते हैं कि उनकी तलाफी आसान नहीं होती
Uh, in 2012, of course, we had a huge setback because uh, the polio ban, uh, which was placed by the Taliban, uh, by Gul Bahadur in the federally administered tribal areas, uh, had very serious implications. And a large number of families, by the thousands, in fact, uh, the number counted up to almost 270,000 children uh, that were then uh, deprived of uh, polio drops and immunization because of this very radical and extremist position that had been taken by the Taliban. The alarm bells started ringing, not only in Pakistan, but also in the world headquarters, in uh, WHO headquarters in Geneva. And uh, a polio eradication plan had been drafted and approved. Emergency Operations Center, it started in January 2015. And the idea was that uh, there should be a coordinated uh, uh, mechanism, coordinated activities related to polio eradication because there were so many organizations, so many partner agencies working for polio eradication, but they were working in their own spheres of activities. Here everybody is now part of one team. So previously UNICEF we used to sit in its offices, WHO in its offices and so on and so forth. But now we are all under one roof. So I think it's a seamless coordinated team and I think it's a good model. It's just made it all much easier for us to work. And as you see, you are right here in the EOC, right in the heart of Karachi. Karachi ki garmi mein burkhe mein kaam karna. Aise hai jaise pahaar pe chadna. Is tarah mande ki saansay phool jati hai na. Nakab ke andar utni sakht garmi hoti hai. Chahe aap ek fix jaga pe bhi khadhe hai. Kisi chadak pe bhi khadhe hai. Kisi se madab usko uske baare mein poli ke baare mein bata rahe hai. Uski vaccination ke baare mein bata rahe hai. To woh joh pasinay behte hai. It's it's a huge uh, city. It has uh, unique dynamics which uh, makes it a challenge for polio eradication activities. It has uh, issues related to security. Uh, different areas which are newly coming up, they have uh, the issues related to the civic amenities. Mm -hmm. Some of them are not regularized. They don't uh, come in, in the planning because they are the newly developed phase uh, just on the spur, on the spur. After the uh, operation against militants in, uh, uh, in, in the North Waziristan, South Waziristan, in which there has been a lot of uh, influx of uh, internally displaced uh, people. कतरा इसको टाइम भी पिलाया था। फिर भी पोली हो गया। फिर भी पिलाया था। ये तो ज्ञान भाई वो कतरा पिलाने से पोलियो तो नहीं हो सकता है। बस ये अल्लाह को मंजूर होगा अल्लाह के
in Karachi, for example, when we move uh, the campaign into the National Immunization Day, four days of that campaign, uh, we require at least four and a half thousand policemen, at least. That's the minimum requirement. And uh, this is uh, sometimes not possible for the city to uh, provide 5,000 or 4,500 policemen. And uh, because so many other events take place. And as you know, law and order events don't give you a warning. They just appear, <laughs> happen on that day. And so the police is otherwise engaged. And I think that's been one of the big challenges, particularly in Sindh, in Karachi. ये था कि अमित परेशान बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाती थी जब तक मैं घर से अंदर इन नहीं होती थी जब मैं अपने घर में एंट्री दे देती थी तो अम्मी कहती थी कि मैं तुम्हें पता है मैं सारे दिन से तुम्हारे लिए कितनी दुआएं कर रही हूँ तो बस मैं अम्मी से यही कहती थी कि मुझे आपकी इन्हीं दुआओं की ज़रूरत है आगर बेटा और कौन है बस एक मिनट निशान लगाओ बेटा Uh, one and a half year and two year most probably old uh, then I have a severe attack of polio most of my age mates at that time they were kids most of them are not vaccinated first of all polio paralyzed me um, polio attacked me and my both of my legs are paralyzed then my, then it affects also on my bones especially my backbone spinal it was like this in and it was after the polio attack. My childhood was not much good like other children's. Parents have this opportunity, polio teams coming on their doors to give a vaccination of their children. If you are getting this facility on your doors, please don't miss this. Don't miss this opportunity. Please cooperate with those guys. Please cooperate with those team members who are coming on your door and giving you an opportunity to save your children's future. अपने आप को तनहा फील करती हूँ इस काम के अंदर तो मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि जैसे मेरे साथ एक साइड पे मेरी भाभी खड़ी है एक साइड मेरी भांजी खड़ी है और वो मेरे हौसले को बढ़ा रही है मुझे हिम्मत देती हैं कि आपने परेशान नहीं होना है अल्लाह भी आपके साथ है और ये सोच लो कि हमारी कुर्बानी ज़ाया ना जाए 